please state your full name for the record? Marad Idil Noshek Ibrahim Muhammad Abdullah. My name is Ibrahim Muhammad Abdullah. When were you born? Gormad Dalati. And where were you born? I was born in Hargeisa. Are you married, sir? Yes. Do you have, um, how long have you been married? About close, uh, more, than, more than 30 years. Hey, do you have any children? Ah. Yes. How many children do you have? There are more than 10. Around 14, and they are my grandchildren. Is there a particular department or branch of uh, agency that he work, that you work for? <coughs> It is the, 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 the Ministry of General Works. Okay. And when did you begin working for the Ministry of General Works? I was working for it for 30 years. Uh, and what year did you begin? Gormad Bilod Shakala, and Hassan Bilod. Alhamdulillah, In 1960. In 1960. Sir, where were you living in May 1988? In Ted Kunolait, Bishi May Hargeisa. I was living in Hargeisa. And who was living with you at the time? My, my, my family, my wife, my children, my mother. And what happened in Hargeisa in May of 1988? We were asleep. Then, so some co. Co so I had a look. Have you never done this before? I am a little greedy. You take a lot. To say the actor. We were asleep. Then we had something like quack, earthquake, and the noise. What is the SNM? I don't know what it is called in Somali. What does it mean to you? It was a movement that came to the to town, yep. uh, to, to the to the country, to, to the to the land, and they wanted to conquer it and take it over. When did the SNM come into Hargeisa? Go when did that begin? I told you at the first May. Yeah, Hargeisa. Okay. Now, were you a member of the SNM? SNM to make a No, no. no. I do not know about them. Did you support the SNM? No, 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 no. Uh -huh. yeah. No. Where were your wife and children when the fighting started? Uh, they stay with me in that night that the fight started. In the morning they left. Where did they go? Ethiopia. They went to Ethiopia. And what what did you do? When they left in the morning, in the evening, I was arrested. Well, how, where were you when you were arrested? In that evening, an officers came to me and told, told me to come out of the house. Did they come to your house? Ah. Yes. And what kind of officers were they? They were the office officers from the government of the then regime, Siad. Okay. What kind of government officers were they? Police? I, I, they were military officers. Mm -hmm. uh, I knew the, 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 con the colonel who was commanding them. Okay. Um, before I go on, what date did this happen? It was 2nd June. 
Mantas. Second June. Yeah. 1988. Ah. Yes. You say you recognized the colonel that was with them. Um, what was his name? Muhammad Alim. And how did how did you recognize him? I knew him. I initially I knew him before. We were neighbors. Um, and how many people were with him? There were several, say, other several officials. I don't know how many they were, and I did not know them. Then he, they left. He remained there with the soldiers who arrested me. Okay. So let me just clarify that. Um, the officials who were also there, were they in uniform? They were in their dress, in their official dress. What does that mean by official dress? The, 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 the military uniform. Uniform. The, the usual. Uniform. Uniform. There is uniform. There is only what's It is all the same uniform, dress. It's all the same. All right. All right. Did anyone tell you why um, the colonel and these soldiers came for you? Yes. What did, why, why did they come looking for you? They said we needed the caterpillar. Can you describe, what do you mean by caterpillar? Can you describe it? It is, it is the name of the thing, and it's also called sh sh shovel. Is it, what, is it a type of vehicle? It is a tractor. A tractor, and um, could you describe this tractor? Yes. Please describe it. It is used for, it digs the ground. It takes the soil from that place it dug, then throws it up to, it takes it. Then this place is where they wanted to put the dead people. Okay, we'll yes. get to that. Um, how, by the way, how did, um, these soldiers know where to find you, where you live. How did they know where you lived? Somebody knew my house. Let's go back to the, uh, the question. Actually, what I wanted to know was, did these soldiers, they took you someplace? Did they take you someplace? Yes. Does the place where you were taken have a name? Ha, huh. yes. What is the name? I was taken to a place called Malka Durduro. Is Malko Duduro in Hargeisa? Uh, yes, yes, where, it is in Hargeisa. Where in Hargeisa is in the, it? In the western side of Hargeisa. Are there any landmarks or nearby? It is near the, the military headquarters. Um, please describe the physical details of Malko Duduro, starting with what does it look like? It is a school. It is a school near a school. Area school with. And a valley. It's an area of a school. It's called Malkadurudro. Yes. Yes. Okay. Had you ever been there before? Yes. My children are students in that school. I used to take my children from the school. What did you see at Malko Duduro when the soldiers brought you there? They took me to a place where there were dead bodies. Dead bodies. About how many bodies were there? There are many. Many hundreds? Yes. Well, well let's stay on the, in this day. And how can you have any attack of Garcin? Don't look at Garo. Did they look like they had been. Re with, did they look recently dead? Yes. All of them? Yes. Okay. They, came, they died shortly before I, I, I reached there. Okay. I'm sorry. Before I, I. Okay. Were the bodies dressed? They were in their. What are you holding? In their dress, their clothes. Were any of them in uniform? <laughs> some in uniform, some of them in civilian dress, and they were tied together. The 
bodies were tied together? Yeah, they were. How were the bodies tied together? Ten, ten, every ten dead bodies were tied together. Did you see any visible wounds on the bodies? Yes. What? They, were, they had, they, they had uh, bullet marks all over their body. How do you know they were bullet wounds? Because I was seeing it. I, what did the wounds look like? The instant time the, all over the body. Okay. Head and head, from head to toe. So, are, are you saying that the bodies had bullet wounds from head to toe? Yes. Okay. And what did you do next? I buried those that I could bury then, that, the, the, those that it was possible to bury then. Mm -hmm. how, how did you bury them? I dug a hole. Then I put 11 uh, mm -hmm. dead bodies in the no. in, 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 in the then I uh, in the mouth of the vehicle or what I was using mm -hmm. then I put it inside then I covered it with the, them with the soil did and the, were the soldiers there at the time? The soldiers uh, that brought you there? I could you again. I was there. Yeah, they were with me. Did they help you bury the bodies? I was... They were putting, they were putting the dead body in the sh shovel of the, the conveyance I was using. Then I was doing the rest of it. Putting the dead body in the in the in the in the in the, in the, in the place I, d I dug, then putting the soil over, covering them with soil. How about how deep were the graves? It was just hiding or burying the dead. And uh, it was. It was just. The idea was just to hide these dead bodies, put them, bury them. To, to, to bury, to, co to cover this dead body and the land, the earth. The way you know, it's not. It's some places are hard, harder than some so, some other places. So it depended on how soft the so, that the soil in that place was. Going back to how the soldiers were helping you, just indulge me for a second. How were the soldiers putting the bodies into the tractor? I was putting the 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 the. the I was putting it on down. Then they were holding the dead body together, dead bodies together. Then they put it, when they put it, that is when I put the dead bodies, they hold them together, they bring them there, then that is when I was taking them to the... Did the bodies remain tied together when they were put into the... They were, yeah, when they were, to, they were still tied together. Um, do you know how many graves you dug um, um, uh, that day? That time it was late in the evening. I came in the next day to continue with it. Okay, but do you remember how many graves you dug that first day? From 80 to 100. And how many bodies went into any one grave? 10 people who were tied, 10 dead bodies tied together. And about how many hours did you spend that day burying bodies? I came in, 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 in three in the afternoon, three in the afternoon, and uh, it was uh, one and a half hours. I came at, let me st start it from, I came at three in the afternoon until 4.30.
because there was nothing, there was a curfew, people could not move, were not allowed to, to walk around after that. One hour, I, th I think it, is, it was one hour, one and a half hours. Were you able to bury all the bodies there at, in that time? Oh, yeah, it, I, did it, I did it, in a, in a, I did it very fast. Hmm? I did it in hurry and very fast. And just to clarify, what date, do you remember what date this was? That you buried bodies that first day? That first day? It was second day of June. 1988. So I yes. 1988, and in the following morning, I came the same, to the same spot. Okay. But before there, before you came back, Inta Adman, this is the head Adin. What did you do immediately after you finished burying the bodies on that first day? I was, I was, I was, I was taken to the military base, and I put the tractor. There or bulldozer, whatever. Mm. And they gave me a place to sleep and they told me to leave early in the morning. Mm. So, do, you, do you know the name of the base where you were taken? It was called Birjeh. Birjeh. Okay, and you say you were taken there. Well, tell me about the next day. What happened the next day? I went back where I left the day. The, um, the, the previous day, where I left the previous day. The, did the soldiers take you there? Ah, yes. And they, did they take you to Malco Duroduro? Yes. And what did you see when you arrived there? I met dead bodies more than the, 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 those that I met the previous day. Okay, the, the thing that's confusing me is before you said you had buried all the bodies the day before. You didn't leave any out. In the previous day what I did was when I buried a number of, of them, of the bodies that were there, I was told to leave while there were some still remaining. Early morning. Then in the early morning I came to finish. Mm -hmm. What I started. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. What? Okay. So then the next day there were more bodies than you had left the day before. Yes. Yes. Do you know how the new bodies got to Malco Duduro? I just oh, met them. I did not know the way they were brought. My issue, my work was just to bury them. Did you see any wounds on these new bodies? The bullet marks. Similar to the bodies the day before. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. And were they also bound, the new bodies? Yeah, there were t ten, ten, every ten bodies were tied together. They were ten, not more, not less. Every, every ten bodies were tied together. And after this day, did you, um, did you bury bodies any other days? Yes. Were all the bodies that you buried, were they buried at Malco Duro? No. Where else did you bury bodies? In, that, in the f milk factory. Sinai. At Sinai. Um, okay. in, when, when you were burying bodies, did you ever find anyone alive among the bodies? Yes. Uh, could you describe um, can you describe what happened when you found that body? I was walking, it, there were ten, ten, ten people, ten tied together, ten of them tied to be bound together. When I buried several ten, the, 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 the last ten that I thought will be my last to bury. Uh, that time, the, the, there is a, a person, a life person, who moved his 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 upper part of the body and asked. He said he asked to be untied. 
Well, what did you do? I tried to look at, uh, check what was, to check it, to, to check Could we get us the car, can I do full bash? I wanted to see the guy, to look at the guy, then the, those who, the, the, the soldiers who were with me told, me to, go, told me to go back to my, 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 my seat in the, on, 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 on the tractor. Ah. And what then happened? I went back to the thing. And what happened next? They are many soldiers. Uh -huh. Many soldiers who sat, who, 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 who took position, who took position in, 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 in one line, in angle. Then they made the place. They, they opened fire on the place. They opened open fire on the, the dead bodies and the one who was alive. Then he became like dead like the rest. How long did you spend burying bodies? It was months. It wasn't days. It was more than days. It was months. It took months. How? So, um, How many months? A month and a karayera, 28 a karayera. days. In the This was when I was bad. Uh, uh, I, I was doing. Uh, the the in the, the, the month that followed this, or the time that followed this, it was, they were calling me whenever they, they, they needed me. And, and uh, one and 28, 20, 20 days, it was buried, a, a, a continuous bout bouts of burying of burying people dead pod, dead bodies mm -hmm. okay. and then the next month was but and then the next month they was were lighter was lighter did you um and the entire time you were burying bodies, were you, did you stay at the military base that entire time? Most of the time. And where were you um, the rest of the time? My house. When did you? My house was just near there. Mm. How long did you stay at the military base? The military base, the 20, 20, 20 days. Huh. They were telling, they were even giving me, they were even direct, uh, order, uh, showing me the place to sleep. Mm -hmm. Then I told the colonel, this place I cannot be sleeping here. My house is just nearby. Why can't I? Then he accepted. Why, 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 could I, why, why can't you let me sleep in my house? Then he accepted. But, but uh, my, my assumption was then that I was free and they just went back to their camp. But okay. when I realized that they were all they were always around me. When in the morning they tell me to 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 follow them. Um, did, did there ever come? Um, did any soldiers go with you to your house? They when 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 they take me to my house, and they pretend that they are leaving, but they never used to leave. They they they, they, they used to change uh, duties. Yeah. Every time, some some were guarding. Can you describe the sounds that you heard? Um, while the fighting was occurring in Hargeisa? Yeah, the, XG, the fire exchange, the bullets. Um, early, beginning of your testimony, you, you mentioned an earthquake. Um, um, 
سؤال كلاوي Can you describe that sound in a little more detail? When they were entering, I told you two times. We were asleep. Sleep in our house. We were asleep in our houses. We had the quake. Then we we put off the lights and sat and waited for what was not knowing what was happening. It, it continued till the morning. Were you ever aware of bombing in Hargeisa? Yes. Do you know that? The aircraft were bomb bombarding. How how often did you see aircraft bombarding? Several, several. Yeah. Several what? Several, times, several times. times. How long did the bombing last? A month or less than a month. Mm -hmm. By few days. Mm. It wasn't a full month, but around 20 days. Mm -hmm. 20 and more. Did you see any of the places in Hargeisa that had been bombed? Yeah. When I was on, the, on the, that side, the uh, of a raised ground, a ra the raised ground of, of that side, I could see the flames and the burning inside the town. What did you see um, in the city after the bombing? People ran away from town. The town was, the town was deserted. Mm -hmm. The, the town was destroyed. There was not even any people movement moving inside the town. D could you describe? It was empty. Sorry. Could you describe what the buildings looked like? Houses were destroyed. Some destroyed. Some partially destroyed. Did you see any casualties? The dead bodies were all over. Um. Were, could you tell whether they were civilians or military? The people in the market and in town mostly were civilians. Were there women and children among them? Ah, oh, yes. Um, you mentioned the milk factory. Approximately how many dead bodies did you bury uh, near the milk factory? I'm not imagine. sure, but I can imagine. Uh, I can, um, I can, I can, I can yes. estimate. I can give estimate. an estimate is fine. In the milk factory, two hundred above, uh, more than two hundred. Okay, and about how many were body were buried um, in Sinai? The same. Did Did you ever see any bodies in Hargeza that were in uniform as soldiers of the Somali National Army? Are you talking about the first days? The first or? days, yes. Yes, the first year. Many. Mm -hmm. uh, when did you see them? The first days. Mm -hmm. yep. Uh, they were at Malco Dudur? The, the, the bodies I buried, most of them were in in, that, in, in uniform. Too much. Many of them, too much. Were they also bound? Yes. Do you um, know how many um, soldiers? Uh, how many dead bodies? Wait, how many soldiers you saw among the dead bodies? There was, there were so many. Can you give us an estimate? The people that I was to, took, took me um, a whole month to bury them daily. You estimate. You can do the estimation. Fair So it's more than a hundred then? There are thousand and something. Okay. Hundred was what I, I was burying in the early day of the day of, 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 
early part of the okay. every day. But did you ever see bodies in school uniforms? Yes. Oh, yes. When when did you see those? One of the days. Okay. Where where were these bodies? Mm -hmm. Were they was there a school nearby? Between the Common Herkota and Malkadurtur. School me out between Malkadurdura and the base, closer to the base, that is the command headquarters. Was there a school near there? The, the school is called Malkadurdura. Ah, uh, is that, what kind of school? Is that primary school or secondary school? school? It was a middle school. Hostel. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. But it, it was a long time ago. Mm -hmm. But, I but think it, it was, was school. it was not a university. No, no, no. Okay. How many bodies did you see in school uniforms? Along the road. Because I saw eight somewhere. Because you know school On the other side, there are four. Okay. They are brought there. Garna. Vehicle, they were brought there vehicle with a vehicle, by a vehicle. But you, first of all, let me ask you, you didn't, did you see the vehicle bring the bodies? I was seeing it living. Okay, and what kind of vehicle was that? It was a military vehicle. Mm -hmm. Was it a truck? It was a big car, a lorry, a, a truck. Okay. Uh, how did you come upon these, these bodies in school uniforms? I stopped. In the, between the eight and the, the, the eight body, the, the eight bodies and the four bodies. What were you doing right before you found the bodies? I came from another place, and the colonel was leading me. Mm -hmm. And what were you? Hmm? Yeah, were you on foot? I was on the tractor. Okay. Or, and and who was with you? Colonel was dry, was uh, before me, and the other soldiers were behind me. Could you please describe what the bodies were, how the bodies were dressed? They were dressed secondary. in uniform, secondary. secondary school uniform, oh. secondary school uniform khaki, ah, khaki, ah. Mm -hmm. which was khaki. And could you tell how old these um? These bad, you know how old these people were? From, uh, from the 20, 20, 20, 20, 20 below 17, 16, 16 years old, mm -hmm. 17 years old, up to 20. And um, did you say anything to the soldiers? Yes. What did you say? I asked as, uh, as an officer who was standing there. Mm -hmm. How do we do say? I asked what happened, what happened to them, what happened to them. And did, did you get an answer? Yes. What was the answer? He cried. And what, if anything, did you do with these bodies in school uniform? I buried them there. Okay, how many graves did, uh, did you use to bury them? The eighth, I buried them together, then the, the four. So it's two graves. Ah. Yes. Now, do the mass graves about which you've testified today, do they still exist today? It was in a valley. Some of this work was, was cleared by the, 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 the floods. Are you talking about Malco Durduro? Yes. Okay. How do you know that, um, that the floods have um, affected these uh, the graves at Malco Durduro. I went there. When did you go there? Many times, many times. And Those days and the, 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 the other days. Okay, but well, what did you see at Malco Durduro? Did, the, did you see the bodies um, after the flood? Yes. The, 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 the ropes that were tied. The, the tied, tied, tied the, the, got hold or on the, on the, on the, on the, root, on the roots of oh. the trees. Oh. You could see the, the rope hanging from the, 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 the root of a tree. 
then when the next rain and the next flood comes it clears that okay and did more bodies come up yes and, and you saw those as well uh, yes okay and um, what if it, what if anything is happening to the graves at if you know at the milk factory people settled there initially it was uh, an open place people settled there now so have those graves ever been excavated mm, they settled there they filled there the graves at Malco Durduro have they ever been excavated by people yes uh, do you know when this occurred? It, it was this was this started with the with the with the floods. When the flood came, the, the bones were seen outside, were brought outside. Then people took the bones and buried them elsewhere. How long had you known Colonel Ali? I knew him for a long time. Um, More than 10 years at that point? When there when they were g g games and sports in the military, he used to, he was, he used to participate. In and the military, he, huh? he was known for his loud or big voice. Did you see the soldiers uh, uh, burying their own dead? Well, no, no. You testified earlier this morning <laughs> that you personally witnessed at least one uh, person being uh, shot and killed, correct? He was wounded. He was wounded and then he was shot and killed by the soldiers? I, I cannot tell whether he was injured or wounded. What I can say is, all I saw was him raising up his upper part of the body and shouting, untie me, untie me. Alright. And you, you, you saw this person uh, essentially executed, uh, correct? Uh, yes. Uh, yes. Did you ever report that incident to uh, Colonel Aline? He was even there. He was there. But you don't know if that person that was wounded uh, before they were shot. What I remember is him saying, untie me please. I, I, I was seeing just the upper, upper part of the body. So you went on uh, doing these burials uh, for a month, right? Two months and 28 days. But it was continuous and uh, for two, one, hundred, one, one, one month and 28 days. And after that, it, 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 they used to call me on daily basis. Come, they tell, they tell me come when few, few dead bodies in different places. Okay. As time went on, most of those bodies were to the to the north, uh, the northern part of Hargeisa, weren't they? I did not even go to the side of the north, even once. I used to go, it was mostly in the western side and Haud. When did you finish uh, the, uh, the burials? When I... It, 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 uh, it, it, uh, two months and 20, after two months and 28 days, is when I escaped. Okay. Was when I escaped. 
Ethiopia. I went to Ethiopia. I went to Ethiopia. I joined my family and my children. Right. And um, so during that entire period, uh, 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 Colonel Alin was still uh, in Hargeisa? He did not go anywhere. So he was still in Hargeisa? Oh, no. Then we met him still there. Yes, yes. And you're absolutely certain of that? Ah, yes. All right. Now, <clears throat> after you uh, fled to Ethiopia, after a time you did return to Hargeisa, did you not? I came back when uh, the land, the land was, uh, uh, they, when they entered and the other people, other group left. And um, approximately when was that? It was in 1991. It was in 1991. All right. So you, uh, and, and from 1991 uh, to the present, uh, you uh, have, have, from 1991 to the present, you've been living in Hargeisa? Yes, I did not go anywhere else. How did you first become aware of this lawsuit? There are people who came to us there in Hargeisa and told us to show them the mass graves. Who, who's us? Who, when you say people came to us, they came to me and told me where did you uh, where, where did you bury these people? Then I told them. How did you uh, get to Djibouti? I was called. How how did you? Uh, arrive here? Did you arrive by car or by plane? I came by plane. Who paid for your air ticket? This, these people. Who's these, these people? These people from the court. You're not suggesting that the court paid for you to come here, are you? Those who are coming from the court. What court? I understand you have two groups. A group. Uh, the other group. What do you mean by the other group? And not to your side, the other side. Okay, so you're not suggesting that I paid for you to come here, right? <laughs> but your, but your, your fare, airfare was paid, correct? Ah. And when did you arrive here? I was here three nights. When you say uh, I was here three nights, uh, you mean by here the... Uh, the Palace uh, Kempinski Djibouti Hotel? Yeah, I'm talking about this hotel. All right. And uh, who is paying for your stay here at the hotel? The, 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 same, the same group, the other ones who are doing it. All right. I can see. That is, that's what they do. You're also eating here too, aren't you? Yeah, I eat here. Right. Yeah. I eat my food, then I go to the place I'm given and sleep. <laughs> now, if <laughs> when I finish now, I'm going to sleep. <laughs> after eating, after eating, I'll sleep. <laughs> and when do you plan on returning uh, to Hargeisa? When I'm told to go, I'm going. When I'm given uh, the means to go, I'm going. even if this. Uh, it, uh, this afternoon, I'm told to. If I'm told to, it's over. I'm going. Why did you come here? I, I get to give testimony. On the, this, 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 I, I came to give testimony to answer the question I'm asked. I tell you what I know. That's and I will tell you exactly what I 